it's just a headshot. So the main thing is I have to make sure that uh, I get the important things in. So it's mostly the shoulder armor here and then there look to be some spikes. And then it pops out here. Some black shapes here that form the armor on her shoulder. And then hair goes like this. Okay. Weird Illuminati thing that's going on here. But, uh, sometimes it's a challenge. So I usually start with the eyebrows. If you follow any of my videos before. Just lining those these elements up here. The outer edges here have the thickest lines. That creates the, sort of the more feminine, exotic look. Sorry, right. my shoulder. All right. Got that going on. crystals here, a ruler, on it so it doesn't smear, so you notice that these uh, beads here, I don't draw each bead, I draw the shadows first, Right, and then draw the outer edge. And uh, that's just to make them look a little more three-dimensional. If you have, if you draw each bead, you're gonna double up on these lines here in the center. I mean, that's one way of approaching it, but the other way is 
you draw the shadows and then you draw around it. It makes it feel a little more kinetic, three-dimensional, less like you're drawing or uh, tracing the silhouette of an object and, and more creating it through the use of shadows, which I think is the more effective way to draw. So like when we draw hair, we're drawing the shadow of clumps of hair, not the hair itself, that kind of thing, All right? I'm turning it because I don't want to get in the frame, and also uh, it's a little easier on my on my uh, arm not to uh, try to hit certain angles here. This is this is the Christmas skin. Everyone kind of had icicle kind of ice armor of some sort. The thing with this armor, honestly, it's so complex. Even if I drew it a little wrong, you probably would not notice. Maybe the die hard die diest of die hards would would notice it. But for the most part, if you get uh, what I've noticed it, with all this stuff, is that if you get if you get pretty close, uh, um, can't really tell the difference. Same thing with that cylinder that had the highlight. The highlight's gonna run pretty much along the length of that her hair up here. So I'm gonna keep that. Going there, and then this falls in the shadow because it's on the side of her head. drawn with this brush here. Okay. I'm gonna simplify some of this. It's a little too a little too uh uh I don't know what's the word. Uh too a little too bristly with too many hairs, so this is more of a Paul Smith kind of animated take on hair. All right. So I'm very focused on what this white shape is that I'm creating with the black ink. All right. And then there are a couple design elements that went over here. is to do this with a brush rather than a sharpie. Sharpie can give you some very quick uh, thicker lines but the, 
the ink tends to fade over time, like over many years, and the fumes are not great for you, at least I find. And the ink also bleeds, it's very strong, it will go seep into the texture of the um, paper itself, and the line's not quite as sharp as it as you would want it to be. Where I'm putting these black lines now, which are independent of the armor, I'm just it's just kind of a design element. Because I'm not gonna draw the rest of the armor. It's kind of a, a bust, right? Some of it's shadows, some of it's her insignia, some of the design work that's part of the armor. Some of it's the uh, the gapping in between the armor itself. So this sketch was won by, oops, smeared, I have to wipe that out. Uh, a person that was watching the game feed of uh, my daughters, Kelsey and Brittany, as they were playing Overwatch. Um, we don't always give away sketch. Again, just the same principle as that cylinder that had the shadows. And maybe we even lean into the smear a little bit. There's going to be splatter. I'm going to do all the splatter, actually, if there's splatter, on these other sketches at the end. So I can do it all at once and not smear white out on the rest of my rest of this drawing. kind of dry brush to create metal reflection of uh, cold cold side has subscribed.
Thank you very much. Very cool. Thank you. Welcome. Use the dry brush to do a little mascara effect there. Maybe a little dusting on the lips here. done. 